Welcome to another unboxing video from CardboardUse.com. My name's Jay. I play Asian board games and share what I find with all of you. Today we're going to be unboxing Perfumery from Tactical Games. 2 to 4, 40, 60 minutes, ages 14 and up. If you don't know Tactical Games, they're a fairly new Japanese publisher, only been around five years, and they've only made 10 games. Last year, most publishers uh, didn't publish many new games, but they published three. You can see their website at tactical-games.net. Uh, looks like they make their games in China, not in Japan or in Taiwan. So let's uh, open this up here. Ooh, that's nice and snug. Rule book, nice and thick, just like all the other ones. This is like 32 pages, but man, this art is gorgeous. And it's all in Japanese, but it's no big deal because they put their English rule book uh, in a PDF on their website. Uh, they haven't uploaded it to BGG yet. All right. You have nice, oof, nice thick cardboard here. A little bit of warping, but you know, hey, you live on an island. These just kind of fall right out. That's what you want to see. That's what you want. All right. Everything looks nice and clean here. All right. Nice, ooh, nice start player token here. And ooh, you don't see this that often. A nice uh, next start player token. So that's. Kind of cool, don't see it that often. And yeah, he's just, ah. Now, they could have gone with a nice uh, black. I don't know if your camera can see it up, but there's this nice little imprint. Kind of looks like water or perfumed water almost. Really nice touch here. That's, this is a level of production that you don't see often in a lot of smaller Japanese publishers. Uh, you know, the insert looks really nice. Some nice cards. Ooh, let's check out these meeples first. Hit the cards. Wow. So these must be like flowers. I guess like these are the ingredients for the perfume that you'll be making. Wow. These are really nice quality components. I'm I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with this publisher. These are all your meeples here. And I love custom meeples. I think this is great. I mean, don't get me wrong, Carcassonne standard is nice and classic, but it's just nice to have something different. I have the nice little beret and I guess it's like a sword or like eyedropper thing. Yeah, those are whales. <laughs> Not whale size, but those are whales. Potion bottles, nice little leaves. Look at that, it even just tells you perfumery. This looks like you would put a glass of perfume in. Let's move on to the cards. You can see right away there's a nice linen finish on the cards here. Ah, they definitely do feel nice in the hand. Ah, they look great, these cards look great. Everything's really nice and clean. It might be a lot of white, it might be a little bit too unexciting for some players, but it's definitely very clear what you're looking at here. That's a two. I don't know why they couldn't make that bigger, but oh well. Let's see what else we can see here. It's really nice to see this level of quality of the cards. This card is gorgeous. I don't know if the Camera is picking it up. These, this art is just really, really nice. European wind and music, wood, green, energy, natural. A lot of perfumes. I guess the six is the number of ingredients you need. Wow. I think each one of these is unique. No, I think I saw European twice. Wow. Impressive. Really impressed. And then these must be the player aids that are all in Japanese. Wow. Look at that. Well, I guess the cards are tiered out, but this is this is really nice. This is going to be a problem though because there's there's no like bleed here. So if you don't sleeve this, this will most likely chip. That has been perfumery. I am pretty impressed with this publisher. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you learned anything at all, comment below and let me know. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon and get notified of our latest video and see what. I've been up to lately, but I also want to know what you've been up to lately. DM me on social media, take some photos, tag me, and let me know what board games from Asia you've been playing lately. All right, guys, once again, my name's Jay. I play Asian board games. Thanks for watching.